Hey, gang. Um, relax, Bernie. Relax. Hey. Um, we are just having some technical difficulties. We're going to hop on in a second. I'm going to talk to Chris Holden Reed. We're going to talk about departure, and uh, it premieres tonight. So um, hang tight, and, um, and we'll have a little chat. I never do this live thing, as you guys know, and so it's, it's kind of new territory to me. Um, so uh, just give us a little bit, a couple minutes. We'll have this all sorted, and we'll, uh, we'll chat live, all right? I can figure out how to do it, but we will, we will. All right, and we'll have a little chat. I never do this live thing, as you guys know, and so it's it's kind of new territory to me. Um, so uh, just give us a little bit, a couple minutes. We'll have this all sorted, and we'll uh, we'll chat live. All right, <laughs> I can figure out how to do it, but we will, we will. All right. Well, hi, gang. Mishka, I see you in there. Um, Let me fix my hair a little bit. Here we go. Um, Hey, guys. So anyway, Chris is um, attempting right now. How many people we got here? Oh, okay. Uh, Chris uh, Holden Reed, he's he's attempting to kind of log on through the whole Peacock. Um, Guys, I am so technologically inept a year and a half ago. Um, and it's phenomenal. It's a great cast. It's a really fun thriller, um, a real whodunit, and um, lots of action, lots of like really intriguing sort of uh, storyline, and um, Christopher Plummer, which is pretty exciting. Um, but anyway, I am just trying to sort of hold the fort down, so to speak, until we get this thing sorted, but um, it'll get done in a second. Hey, UK! John Horsnail, how are you? Hi from Northern Ireland. Hello, thank you so much. Maryland, my God, look at all these people. This is so fun. Um, I should do this once in a while. <laughs> do you guys want me to do these Instagram live things? I, I, I'm not particularly like super good at social media, as I'm sure some of you have noticed. Um, but if it's fun, I mean, why not? Hey, Toronto. Melbourne. Wow, we got a lot of stuff here. Um, so let's see. Can I actually connect with somebody? Can I just like pick somebody and chit chat with them? Does somebody want to chit chat? Here's somebody. When you go live with somebody. Gosh, I don't even know how that works. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a text from Chris. Hold on. All right. Chris is going live now. You could either hang with me. Or uh, you could go to the Peacock TV uh, Instagram page, and I'll see you again. When you go live with somebody. Gosh, I don't even know how that works. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a text from Chris. Hold hold on. All right. Chris is going live now. You could either hang with me, or uh, you could go to the Peacock TV uh, Instagram page, and I'll see you again. When you go live with somebody. Gosh, I don't even know how that works. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a text from Chris. Hold hold on. All right. Chris is going live now. You could either hang with me or uh, you could go to the Peacock TV uh, Instagram page and I'll see you again. When you go live with somebody. Gosh, I don't even know how that works. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a text from Chris. Hold, Hold on. All right. Chris is going live now. You could either hang with me Or uh, you could go to the Peacock TV uh, Instagram page, and I'll see you again. This is Uh, uh, that's 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 asking a lot of us. (laughs) Yeah, I know, man. Oh my God, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. It's good to see you. It's been a minute. Yeah. How was uh, Croatia? Oh, Croatia was great. Great. I came back just in time for the fires. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm back in LA now. Kind of, uh, you know. Well, it's getting a little better here on the West Coast, but uh, I think you guys are getting all our smoke now, aren't you? Yeah, it's coming this way. I've, I've definitely you're, wel- you're welcome. Thank you. It's my yeah. sinuses appreciate it. <laughs> um, yeah, so so sorry to anybody who's watching from California. That's some tough. Uh, that's a tough situation. Yeah. 
maybe, uh, yeah, maybe we got to do something about uh, this climate change thing, huh? Hmm? Anyway, Seems like it. It's a thing. Let's not get political about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to talk about Departure. There you go. Is season one is screening as of right now on at Peacock TV. Mm-hmm. And uh, later, if you're Canadian in October, it has an airing on Global. So you can stay tuned for that as well. Oh, cool. But, when, uh, in, in October? In, in October, yeah. I don't know the exact date, but... Um, so I'm just trying to fix everything. Um, I think it... Didn't it air overseas? It did. UK? Someone actually asked while you were joining. Um, so it aired originally last year in the UK. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, it's probably still on their... Um, you, you, you know, once they once they air something, usually you can go back and watch it. I don't know how it I all think, works over there. I think it was Universal or something like it was. Side. Yeah, I'm, which is Sky I'm trying TV to keep my phone from falling over here because I got these old school headsets because the other ones have been destroyed. Nah. we'll get through this, man. I we'll like those. I mean, we're too good. A couple, couple of bumps in the road, but we'll get through it. Exactly. And yeah, if anybody has questions about uh, departure, I'm trying to keep uh, an eye on the chat in the bottom. But um, if we miss it, just post it again. I know. Um, so yeah, Departure starts airing tonight or today. It's already you can watch it. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a six-part miniseries. Uh-huh. Very sort of high octane. Who done it? Airplane crash. I'm sure it, most people have seen the preview or the trailer, so that they know it's about a plane. We don't <laughs> want to give any spoilers away. We yeah, don't want to yeah, like yeah. you know. But uh, it's a really sort of high tech, fast paced, um, who done it in our in our modern world, and and, mm-hmm. and it is about a plane crash. Yeah, and, uh, and it's got Archie Punjabi and Christopher Plummer and Emmy Chris Award Holden winner Reed. Archie mm-hmm. Punjabi. Yeah, Academy Award winner Chris Plummer. Chris Plummer. Yes. <laughs> Which actually, they, they suggested we talk about what our experiences were like working with him. Did you actually do a scene with him? I did one scene with him, and it was. You know, very... it is not sci fi, by the way. Someone asked. Oh, no, 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 no. It's funny. definitely it's definitely not sci fi. Um, it's, I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing show. It's an amazing show, and it's an amazing series, and uh, it, really, it really builds. Um, but uh, yeah, Chris Plummer, man, I, I had such. Um, I mean, I just had a brief scene with him. Uh, mm-hmm. But it was just, you know, uh, I mean, just just an icon. And I was yeah. just so excited to meet him, to, to have a chance to work yeah. with him. But he was I, the su- I, sweetest man. I, yeah, and I, I, I was so inspired because um, most of our viewers won't know, but he actually turned 89 while we were filming. Yeah. And that was such an inspiration to me because, you know, we all think about the longevity of our careers and mm-hmm. what do we do, you know, how to, you know, and, you know, when people retire, often they get so tired, you know, they just get tired and they fizzle out. And it was, it really made me realize we don't have to retire in our profession. They no. need old, old, <laughs> old ass actors. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're on our way. But we're on our I, way. I, 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 um, I just, I, like you, I, I just couldn't believe uh, his age. I couldn't believe his capacity, his, like, uh, how uh, absolutely gracious he was, too. Absolutely. You know, I remember uh, I was introduced to him by T.J. Scott. T.J. Scott, by the way, uh, directed and wrote this uh, and produced this he, series. He, didn't, he was a co-writer on it. But the, co-writer. The, my, the, the major writer was Vince Shio. Yes, my, uh, my mistake. Done a yeah. job. But, yeah, T.J. Scott, amazing director. Uh, and uh, he, he's a friend, and he's a fantastic director. You'll see... Um, what we're talking about when you when you watch a show, it's it's truly um, beautifully produced and directed. Um, but anyway, TJ brought me over to meet Mr. Plummer, and um, I remember just like extending my hand, and he insisted on getting up just to greet me. Mm-hmm. And it was just like I was like, no, 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 please, you know, like it's fine. You, you do not have to get up. <laughs> and trust me. And he, yeah. he was just such an incredible professional, you know. And I I, I just remember that moment very vividly. Yeah, uh, and a uh, consummate professional. You know? Yeah. It was a real treat to work with him. Yeah. But yeah, we had, we, we got to, I didn't really have a scene scene with you, but I got to watch you in front of your Lear jet. Yes. Fancy Lamborghini yeah, behind yeah, you. Yeah, I got to play this. Uh, so anyway, my character, did you already introduce your character? Did you talk about that? Oh, yet? no, I didn't actually. Hello, Hayes, my name is Chris talk, Holden Reed. There you go. And on departure, I play Detective Dominic Hayes from the TSIB, yes. the Transit Safety Investigation Bureau. 
Yes. And, and I talk and I, like this all the time. He does talk like that very convincingly. And I talk uh, with a Russian accent. I'm Pavel Bartok. And, uh, you know, I get to tap into some of my heritage and uh, bring in a little mm -hmm. bit of Russian accent. Um, and I play uh, Pavel, who is kind of the Elon Musk of uh, Russia, former... You know, he was an engineer during the uh, Soviet era, and then he uh, sort of built up this, he's an oligarch, basically, who's built up this mm -hmm. incredible tech company, and he um, becomes integral to this investigation, and, um, you know, he's a real player and uh, a bit of a puppet master. Um, mm -hmm. So it was a lot of fun, and like Chris said, I got to have a Learjet, limousines, beautiful you know, um, I had some of the most beautiful outfits as well. Like I really, yeah. I really sort of no, busted out some great turtlenecks too. Some I had some serious wardrobe envy. <laughs> I know, right? I had, I had a great wardrobe. You know, you're from Europe when you wear turtlenecks. Exactly. Yeah, it was fun. Um, it was great. So there's been some questions. Do you speak Russian on the show? Da. Yeah, I speak Russian on the show with, you know, I have an American accent, of course, because I did not, I was not raised in Russia. I spoke Russian at home with my parents, but for the sake of our show, it'll do just fine. <laughs> but I get to speak some Russian, which is fun. And my character, strangely enough, speaks Swahili. I know. Jumbo. <laughs> but you never got to use it, but we, but we knew that you could. Yeah. <laughs> There's but actually right. some we, we people What's that? writing people... in Russian right now. It's interesting. Is there some Cyrillic down there? Let me there find is. it. What are they saying? Uh, they're saying, oh, you can do that. Oh my god! Yeah, Saksensam. Yes, exactly, Saksensam. I, I, I speak with an accent. There she, she's just confirming that I do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This um, is cool. I didn't know we could go cool. back and scroll down through you these could, messages. Yeah, Klasna, someone bah, uh, Bahar Agayeva. So yes, I, I could speak. Um, uh, I could read a little bit of Russian. Not great, but I could, I could get by. Um, Where are we? Well, I'm in Toronto. And Sasha mm -hmm. is in Los Angeles. And I'm in L.A. Yeah, but we filmed it in Toronto. We filmed yeah. a series in Toronto. And in the U.K. We had a nice, it was a, it was a U.K. Right. co-pro. So we had a lovely couple of weeks in uh, London and mm -hmm. uh, the vicinity. I, I was so envious. I was supposed to be in some of those scenes and it didn't I work know. out. I know. It would have been great. Lucky, lucky you. I know. So our director, who's a terrifically, you know, he, he's very collaborative. He got into his head that it would be fun for all of us to... Uh, live in the same house. So he rented a massive Airbnb and there was like five of us in there. And it was really, like, it was like film school all over again. Oh, we were in there, we so... crushing scripts at the end of the night over Stop beer. It. Looking at Stop like, it. Now you're making uh, me even more envious. Next time. That's next amazing. Time. That's amazing. Well, we were supposed to do Ireland this year, but uh, COVID. So we're all Toronto yeah. now. By yeah. the way, yes, we are. We are filming season two of it right now, which you may have caught from a little promo. Fun mm -hmm. little promo I did last week. But yeah, we're thick in the middle of season two. Good. How's that going? I, really good. Way, not, I'm not in season two, but I'm very proud to be in season one. But it's going well? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, it's the first time that I've done a COVID pr project. So uh, it's... You never forget your first. <laughs> you know. And, and like <laughs> Shaftesbury, who is the Toronto, the Canadian producers, they've done a terrific, a, a really tremendous job setting up... Um, you know, the infrastructure, there's, there's nurses that there's only single entry points. Like it, it's a really cool new, uh, and it's, you know, for the, the future, the, the foreseeable future anyway of our industry of how we're going to yeah. function. And it's, mm -hmm. and it, it really works. It doesn't feel like we're on a COVID set, except for we have masks on. Sure. But like the work is a tiny bit slower because of certain distancing rules, but really it, it just feels like business as usual, which I'm, is I'm, Listen, I'm glad amazing. to hear that. Yeah. Cause it, yeah. it seems like a scary time to kind of, um, you know, be in close quarters, but no, it's good. Yeah. We'll see. Someone asked if you were Chris Martin. Yes, uh, that is Chris Martin. Absolutely. Like, yes. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it was cold yellow. Yeah. Um, I bet you get that once in a while. I just saw, I just see it now. I just saw it for yeah. the first time. Yeah. You know, I really wish that it happened, you know, with that like, Gwyneth Paltrow had made that mistake at like some film festival. Chris, because I would have turned around. It would be dark and she would just give me a quick peck on the cheek uh, or something. That's Wouldn't nice. that be a great story? Yeah, that would have been something. <laughs> My best um, story actually is at a mm. film festival. Cuba Gooding Jr. saw me enter a bar at the Toronto Film Festival. And he comes running across the bar and picks me up. He goes, I love you, man. And at that point, it had become a bit of a phenomenon for me. So I'd actually had a shirt say that I'm not Chris Martin. And Wait, that point, he, he thought shirt. you were Chris Martin too? So this yeah. happens a lot. Oh, well, wow. it used to. It used to, Like 10 years ago, I, we looked a lot alike. But now, wow. not so much. I love that. Yeah, it was crazy pants. Nice. Yeah.
I wish I looked like someone cool, but I think I mostly get Jeff Goldblum or something, which is kind of cool in and of itself. See, I don't see it. You're, you're cool enough on your and and individual enough looking on your. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, so we got you guys bring happiness to me. Okay, I'm glad we bring happiness to you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just looking um, back, seeing if there's any pertinent questions. Yeah, and has anyone seen the, sh the program already? I, I don't know if someone's streaming it. By the way, Peacock, you could, you know, if you haven't signed up, sign up for it. It's, it's a great new platform for streaming, kind of like Hulu or Netflix. And they got a, a great catalog of stuff to watch, including this show. Yeah, very good point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the new world of online streaming, it's like. Uh, what, what are people saying here? Did you learn? It's very cool. Gold Bloom rocks anyway. Yeah, yes, he does. Uh, Hi from Egypt. Well, it's a long way. Hi. Um, can you view it online? Yeah. Well, it's kind of it kind of is online, right? Yeah. I mean, the streaming platforms are pretty much uh, fueled by online. So I don't know if you need an American IP address to log into uh, Peacock, but you may. But you can get one of those VPNs or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. um, I'm 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 trying. I'm sounding savvy right now, but really, I have no please. Way. We couldn't even log into this thing on time. <laughs> what, what what do we know? Um, <laughs> They're like, well, we got to get a different crew on this thing. But um, how was, uh, how was, tell me some of your favorite memories. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it was such a fun, fast show and really collaborative. This is, this is what I hope everybody sort of picks up on when they watch it is like, um, just what a team effort it was. You know, like we, it was, it was filmed mostly in Canada and for, a reasonable budget so we we all had to work together and work quickly and that mm -hmm. that pace that energy i think really translate over the show you know we didn't have to fake it it was like we got two takes then we're gonna get the hell out of <laughs> well here. well tj works very fast he does yeah. he knows what he wants and and he, he gets it out of us and um i remember it being very cold I remember because I've, I've uh, sadly, I've lost my sort of yeah. uh, can Canadian uh, yeah, capacity for cold. And so I've been you in LA. Slash I, Russian, like you were doubly tough. I know, man. And I had, I, just I, got I, all had California I was writing. resilient. And now it's just forget it, man. If it's, it's you know, if it's not 25 Celsius, I'm, I'm, I'm freezing. And so um, I do remember it being very cold in December. And I think you guys had to do some serious outdoor scenes. And, and poor I, mean, Archie, she I was a row. I remember that, yeah. November. Yeah, I was covered in hot pockets, not I was gonna say hot pockets, but hot hot what do they call those little sort of like warm up <laughs> just, patches? Just stuck toaster oven packs. Yeah, exactly. Like, ah anyway to stay warm, but yeah. Um but we had a good time. But you're right, you and I didn't really have a scene like we you we not kind really. of in the periphery, but we didn't really kind of engage. But I but I felt you. I felt you. Thanks, buddy. Boy, oh yeah. boy. Uh, you well, were there. I I talked about you in a lot of scenes, so yeah, I felt that's easy. true. That's this true. is a nice little comment. Someone says, "Please get Peacock TV to get Lost Girl. That would be nice." Oh. Are you listening, Peacock TV? I I I can hold your Instagram uh, account hijack now, so please <laughs> get get Lost Girl on there. That's yeah, a that show was a fun I did show. I know, I know, I know. How how many seasons did you do of that? Six or seven, depending on how they they sold it out. But seventy seven episodes. Wow. You hear that, Peacock? 77 hours of amazing sci-fi fantasy television for a Canadian buck. Come on down. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, watch Departure. And watch then Departure, get absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get so excited about everybody in it and then watch everything that they've ever done. Yeah. But so um, I think it's so already time. streaming now. So uh, as soon it as is. we get off of this thing, you guys can uh, go and, and view it and um, judge for yourself. But yeah. I think we got some pretty good feedback from the UK once it goes airing there. It, yeah, absolutely. And like, um, really unbiased, like friends of friends, parents who are going, oh, watch the show. And so unbiased opinions, supposedly a good show. Yeah. We can't really say it's a good show because we have to, but. But it is. <laughs> but it is, exactly. <laughs> Everyone did a great job. The post-production is fantastic. Uh, it's a very ambitious show for what it was. Like, you'll mm -hmm. see when you watch it. It's a, it's a great six-hour binge. You can maybe do it over two nights. Um, maybe three, but uh, it's a it's a fast paced, really fun, great little show. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just trying to read some of these comments. I'm yeah, not exactly. Sure. Um... Oh, let me read this one. Mr. Sashiroas is still so handsome. Oh, thank you just, for reading just that. Just FYI. One. <laughs> yeah, that's nice to hear. But I like um... that it says "still," meaning that. <laughs> it's teetering it's on the edge i know i know 
<laughs> I'm basically holding on for dear life. Um, yeah. yeah, but it's uh, it's good to see you, pal. You too, bud. And you know what? I think we'll sign off on that. Um, everybody, please tune in. Um, I, I think you'll really enjoy it. And please feel free to post to either of us about it in your comments. And hopefully on, on each of our personal Instagrams, we'll try to get back to you and, and answer a thing or two about it. Absolutely. And maybe we'll do these, uh, you know, live things more often. Although, you know, it can only get better. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, with the second wave coming, you know, we're going to be housebound all winter anyway. I mean, Pretty much. Pretty much. So Save everyone, me stay, from me, please. Stay safe out there, everyone. And That's you too, right. buddy. And um, good luck on season two. And Thank enjoy you. the show, uh, my friends. I, I, hope, yeah. uh, I hope you like it as much as we enjoyed making it. Absolutely. Well said. Peace, love. Stay All safe. All the best. Take care, guys. Now, how do I stop this thing? Really, I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs>